Hey everyone, welcome back to your form as Saxony. Uh, we have just prevented a second great peasant war by slacking our recruitment standard. And now I'm basically just waiting for our manpower to really truly recover. Then we can uh, fill up our men and then we can actually look to build more troops because our force limit has increased quite a bit. Now actually, let me quickly check our advisor. It's still a force limit, guys. So yeah, it's not exactly what it shows but still we can build a couple more troops anyway we have a new government reform that we can enact and what you would usually go for if you don't want to be you know parliament or the, the, the netherlands you would usually go for the royal decree giving you maximum absolutism plus five now i generally would do that as well but in this particular case i'm actually going to go for the general estates because that gives us plus 10 production efficiency. And as I said, my goal eventually here at the end is to be the economic hegemon. And so we need every power or every, yeah, every bit we can get. Um, every every ducat we can squeeze out of our provinces, we need that. And so I think the uh, extra production efficiency here is going to help us uh, a lot and, and go a long way really so let's go with that and plus i mean the absolutism is plus, it's just plus five there's so many other ways to increase it i think we should be fine and if that should be an issue we can always change it back if we need to but i feel like this stacks nicely with our regular goods produced ideas here so yeah um let's just move on forward um actually yeah we're basically waiting for our um farms and manufactories to be finished meanwhile we'll watch the destruction of bohemia and i'm yeah i'm still holding off on this one but yeah basically we want to get the saxon manufacturing and uh we'll get the cool event leipzig prospers which uh i believe gives us a center of trade but i'm not fully certain on that one actually so we'll see but yeah okay so this reformer has been annoying again. Now, actually, I don't mind as much right now. So, yeah, if you feel that strongly about it, go for it. We'll see what he says. And yeah, he, he got rid of the last one, which is fine. We don't really need the stability thing anymore. So I think it's uh, it's worth it. Because what is he giving us? He's giving us um, extra prestige and church power. Oh, wow, we're actually still increasing our prestige right now. That's cool. I like it. All right. But yeah, um, I'm not sure if it's so smart that I'm currently drilling these troops because they're going to get reinforced. I should probably just stop drilling right now. It, it really doesn't help all that much. Um, we'll just, yeah, we'll just leave for now. We'll actually save the cash and do something else with it. And Austria has indeed been elected emperor. All right. Yeah, that's fine by me for now. Um, but we're likely going to be at odds with Austria during the League Wars. Um, that's going to be a big issue. We'll see how that goes. I mean, I really want Protestantism to be good. This is what I'm waiting for here with this mission. Uh, Austria is a defender of the Catholic faith. So I really don't know what's going to be happening here. But uh, we can come back from Trier. And I'm thinking about improving relations with Muscovy. And uh, potentially getting them as an ally against the Commonwealth. Unfortunately, our Prince Elector has become greedy. That's very, very bad. Uh, but I think we'll we'll do fine regardless. Still making a decent amount of money. We're actually making a good amount, yeah. Okay, now, <clears throat> religious resistance. It's moving much harder than anticipated to convert the citizens of Glogau. Although a few of them showed some clear interest in the beginning, the majority doesn't seem that willing to embrace. Our local missionary strength minus 10. Now, what is our missionary strength here? <clears throat> it is plus two. So we wouldn't be able to convert them for another five years. Or fight the heretics. You know, I'm actually, I'm willing to fight the heretics. We can go ahead and uh, make sure to pay our troops. Should be fine here. Next month, I think we're ready. Increase our efforts. We're winning this. Yeah, easily. Good. It did cost us a little bit of troops as well, but overall, I think we're fine. Uh, we can go back to not paying them. Don't want to 
fall under 50% here. Although I think it's not 50% that we should be too worried about anymore. Anyway, uh, National Unrest? Is this helping? It actually does somewhat help, so we'll, we'll uh, go ahead and pay this guy. Ditmarsh announced us as a rival, interestingly. Okay. And felt hats, price of fur, that does not concern us. But the sale of titles. One of our advisors is just the selling of noble titles to anyone who can afford to pay. The burghers gained 5% land for 100 gold. Now here's the thing. If I was to sell land, 10... Like, this is not even half I would get. So honestly, I don't have the monetary issue. I'm going to go with the stability here. Yeah. I like the stability. Thank you. That's definitely worth it. Alright, Condo Cherry can be hired, but I can't really spare the manpower. I have also started... Um, actually, you might have seen it. I've started to build, you know, a couple workshops as well. And in provinces where it made sense. Oh, and weapons manufacturing can be built now. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Yeah, plus 41. Okay. I'll go for that. 29. Alright, we don't have any more cash, but yeah, that's that's good. It's definitely good. Helping our lands. Okay, this reformer is being annoying again. Remove another church aspect. I don't know if I want that, but let's summon a diet for now. The clergy request that we invest in the prosperity of their lands in Leipzig. Interesting. Which I might just do. We will get this event very soon. I don't know what this does. Maybe, perhaps this will even give us um, development in Leipzig. So, you know what? I'm actually going to go with this, probably. East Frisia. We could gain a subjugation chasm's belly on them. Uh, I don't think that's worth it. Or, Grand Shipyard. That's not going to happen. So, we're going to go with this. Increase their tax income. In Leipzig, okay. And, hmm, you know what? This is enough. Yeah, he condemns us again, but honestly, it's just the way it is. I can't really take this twice. Okay, the Commonwealth has taken these provinces as expected, but the rest of Bohemia should be relatively safe now, I think. We'll see. And we are gaining prestige for our conversions now. That's awesome. Right, I, I forgot that we even picked that. And our general has died. That's a big deal. That's actually a big deal. Now, I did tack up um, in, in Diplomatic as well. Um, but, uh, so yeah, basically, that's, what does that mean? We don't have a military idea group, so I can afford to spend points on a new general. So let's go ahead and do that. Karl Brettfeld. Yeah, he is... Horrible. Let's just go for another one. He is slightly better, actually. Well, he has one more point. I was hoping for a siege pip, but this one is good enough. I'm not going to waste any more points on it, at least not right now. And I think we're going to start drilling, actually. I think we're now in a position to do this. How many more men do you need? 8,000. Yeah, that's okay. That should be fine. Because we're getting how many? 300 per month. Alright. That's okay. I do do wonder what would have happened if I had kept this reform around even longer. But he probably would have just continued to bicker. So, whatever. Uh, Austria is at war with Great Britain. Interesting. And we can go for new tech. Very good. Let's do that. Now we can build textile manufactories. They're going to be very expensive, aren't they? Yeah, and th yeah, actually, well, this one is necessary. We need to build this one as soon as we can. But we'll see what, uh, like, in a year, we'll see what this event does. And obviously, we're going to give this to Austria. The price of salt is increased. That's very good for us. That's very good for us because we do have salt here. And we have salt, I think, in another province as well. Mm, I thought so. Maybe we don't. Am I actually wrong? Your grain... Alright, I thought we had it in a couple provinces, but uh, we don't. That's okay. Alright, a new church aspect can be selected. Let me see 
what I need. Idea cost, national unrest, product. We can go for production here as well. Although, oh, production is decent. Mm, development cost, missionary strength. We don't need any of this. I can go for prestige. Let's go for prestige. While we're not at war, we really don't need this. I'm gonna probably get rid of the holy sacraments at some point here. Okay, 90 relations with Muscovy, it's awesome. I'm still waiting for these estates to come in. All right, religious civil war. So what do you say? You wanna be my friend? You at war with the Timurids? Damn. Yeah, okay, you don't wanna be my friend. I still have an open slot. I mean, it's always fine. I can always go for a vassal. Um, but yeah, who do you not like? These guys. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think I'm actually going to go for this republic here. Ally them. Ally uh, Friesland. Because I don't think I'm going to get claimed on their lands. No. Oh, and by the way... I just realized, yeah, we can go ahead and accept some new cultures. So, a lower Saxon, I definitely want to accept. And I do want to accept Silesian as well. Um, although, ah, man, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I mean, we did accept uh, Sorbian culture. <sighs> hmm. I don't know about Silesian, to be honest. Actually, I'm going to hold off on this. I'm going to hold off on this for now. Alright, come on. I want this event. I want to see what this is all about. Alright, 50 days. Should be cool. Uh, raise taxes or production. Well, let's quickly check. What will we want here? Well, definitely not production. We're going to take the base tax. Thank you. Oh, Austria has a 5-5 five, five general dam. Okay, Trade League in Lübeck has been disbanded again. So shouldn't there be this event? Oh, right, I guess we have to click it. Yeah, Saxony, Saxony has many natural resources. By converting these raw materials into finished goods, we will be able to greatly increase our land's prosperity. Okay, so Leipzig has developed into a major market town, attracting craftsmen and traders from across the Holy Roman Empire. These immigrants bring with them considerable wealth and new trades. Recently, Konrad Kachelhofen, one of Nuremberg's most prominent printers, relocated to the city and established a large printing press in it. This will surely lead to a great future prosperity for the city and higher tax receipts uh, for us in future. Also, look at this. Paper will now be introduced in Leipzig. Whereas right now we've got wool. And then create level 1 center of trade. Gain 3 base tax and 3 base production. Which means... Wow, that's first of all a lot more money. Secondly, a lot more base tax. And we should finish our agenda here. Yes, perfect. 10 loyalty and 10 prestige just like that. And now everybody is happy enough that I can seize lands once more. So I will. Seize the lands. Perfect. We're at 44. Now at 50, we actually get a bonus. Um, so we're still a little bit off, but uh, then we'll get bonuses to our, to our nation. Anyway, uh, on that note, I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.